The Flash, the fastest man alive. Speedsters are surprisingly powerful, but even the fastest, most powerful heroes cannot escape fate. Part of what makes heroes so super is the suffering they endure, and we can't get enough of it. So here's 10 of the awful things that have happened to The Flash. Number 10, he became the fattest man on earth. This bizarre storyline is from 1960, and in it, the evil Gorilla Grodd has transferred his consciousness into human form to confront the Flash. He shoots Flash with a radiation gun that causes his body to absorb excess moisture from the air, making Barry swell up like a water balloon to an alarming and uncomfortable looking size. Not only that, Grodd also erases his memories and sells him to a heartless sideshow owner who puts Barry on display and charges people to come and see the fattest man alive. I can only imagine how cringy it would be to try and read this story today and take it seriously. We get to see a deeply depressed Barry, exploited, embarrassed, and dejected, with little kids pointing and laughing at him. Thankfully, he does eventually recover his memory and his figure. Hey guys, if you like these videos and you want to see more, be sure to take a second and hit that like button. Number 9. His face was disfigured. Not everything on this list is cosmetic, but we'll get into the more emotional suffering later. For now, let's talk about the time Big Sur punched the Flash's lights out. Big Sur is one of the Flash's lesser known villains, but he has some super strength and lands a clean, super powered blow right in Barry's face and the signature speedster passes out in the bushes at the park. Two kids happen across his body and recoil in horror when they take a peek under his mask. His face is so smashed up it's barely even recognizable. His teeth are chipped, his eyes swollen shut, it's brutal. Seriously hurt, he heads to Gorilla City and gets patched up by his friend Solovar, leader of the super intelligent gorilla race. They heal him up and rebuild his face differently to help keep his identity secret. Luckily, they go with the usual two eyes, one nose, regular looking face. In the future, advanced surgery helps Flash eventually return to the face that we know and love. Number 8. Almost burned to death. In the Flashpoint universe, Barry doesn't have his superpowers, so he works together with Thomas Wayne, that reality's version of Batman, to come up with a scheme to try to get his powers back, so that he can run back in time and fix the timeline. So the plan is simple, recreate the events that originally gave him his powers, by covering himself in chemicals and then getting struck by lightning. Thomas, uh, for good reason, has a lot of concerns. But Barry races ahead with the plan, and it doesn't go well. He is struck by lightning, but instead of receiving powers, he almost roasts to death, getting third degree burns all over his body. Thomas bandages up what's left of Barry's skin while he screams in agony, and we see Barry lying on a gurney, soaked in blood and covered head to toe in bandages. It is a bit of a gruesome scene and definitely inspires some sympathy for The Flash. Number 7. Captured and Tortured In Crisis on Infinite Earths, a lot of things got really cranked up. Many heroes were pushed to their limits and good old Barry is no exception. The Flash gets captured by the Anti-Monitor and then mentally tortured by the evil Psycho Pirate who has the ability to manipulate emotions. Barry endures this for weeks with Psycho Pirate forcing him to relive his worst memories and emotions over and over again. We we see poor Barry cowering in the dark, terrified for his life, forced to watch as his fellow Justice League member Red Tornado is killed right before his eyes. When he finally breaks free, he's been through so much emotional turmoil, he goes buck wild with rage and beats on Psycho Pirate until he begs for mercy. Definitely a low point for The Flash. Number 6. His wife Iris West was killed by Zoom. Since the first appearance of Barry Allen in 1956, he's been paired up with Iris West. Another DC power couple like Lois and Clark, they've been married and had all kinds of relationship drama. While she's attending a costume party dressed as Batgirl, Zoom waits for her in the kitchen and when she comes to get a drink, he kills her. Using his speed powers to vibrate his hand at turbo speed, he passes his hand through her skull and does fatal damage to the molecules inside her brain. This causes instantaneous death, and the tragedy of it all is devastating for Barry. Later in the story, his true love is brought back to him through some time travel stuff and reincarnation, but it's still a seriously heart-wrenching moment for The Flash. Number 5. He killed a man. After the death of his first wife, Barry eventually met and fell in love with Fiona Webb, and the two dated on and off. She worked for a senator named Creed Phillips on his election campaign. When Creed is revealed to secretly be the villain Eradicator and later dies, 
Fiona and Barry realize through the whole ordeal that they really do love each other and decide that they're going to get married. On the day of the wedding, the reverse flash, Professor Zoom, shows up again and attacks Barry. The two race across the city fighting each other, but when Zoom switches his focus to Barry's fiance, Flash goes into a rage and he runs up and grabs him by the neck from behind. Unfortunately, the sheer force of this alone snaps the villain's neck and kills him and Barry is racked with guilt over having killed someone. The city even has him stand trial and his longtime friend Wally testifies against him saying Flash should have done more to stop Zoom without killing him. It's a real low point for Barry and he's forced to flee to another time period. Number 4. His nephew Wally died. If suffering all this physical and emotional pain wasn't bad enough, Barry has also seen the death of his beloved nephew Wally West. Wally and his aunt are driving, racing to stop Iris' brother from killing the Flash. They end up getting into car crash on the way, and not wearing seatbelts, the results of the crash are pretty brutal. Iris is left permanently paralyzed and Wally is thrown from the vehicle. Barry arrives to see Wally's lifeless body on the road and Iris being loaded into an ambulance. Flash blames himself for not being able to stop the accident and the death of Wally sends him into a dark period of sadness and guilt. Number 3. Parents Dead Things weren't always this way. Maybe it was the success of Superman or Batman stories, but either way, when DC rewrote the Flash's backstory in Rebirth, they gave him the old cliche tragic past. In this new version of his history, his mother Nora is brutally murdered when he's a child. Not only that, his father is wrongfully sent to prison for the crime. And if that wasn't bad enough, his father dies in prison before he can be proved innocent and the Flash goes through it all alone. It's only later in life that he learns it was the reverse Flash, Professor Zoom, that murdered Nora and framed his father Henry for the crime to ruin Barry's life. Ironically, the plan backfires and these events lead to Barry becoming a forensic scientist for the police and then later becoming the hero known as the Flash. Number 2. Returns to the past and allows his mother's death. Alright, we've seen a lot of stuff. How could it possibly be worse? Well, one time, Barry woke up in an alternate reality where his mother is still alive. In the Flashpoint universe, his mother is alive and his father was never framed for murder. It sounds great and Barry gets a nice touching reunion, but there's actually a bunch of other stuff in this universe that's different too. Like Bruce Wayne was killed instead of his parents. On top of that, in this universe, Wonder Woman and Aquaman have basically caused a huge war in Europe, causing massive destruction and devastation. Barry decides he needs to reset the timeline, even though it means losing his mother again. Barry does do the heroic thing in the end, and sacrifices his own happiness to put everything back to normal. Number 1. Sacrificed himself to save the multiverse In the crossover event Crisis on Infinite Earths, Barry makes the ultimate sacrifice his own life. The Anti-Monitor has constructed a giant antimatter cannon to destroy the various Earths, and Barry does what he has to do to stop it. He runs against the Anti-Matter to destroy the weapon, running so fast he's going back through time, reliving his memories as his body disintegrates. The pain becomes so intense at one point that he cries out for help with nobody to hear him. He reminds himself that there is always hope and he keeps pushing even as his body is breaking down completely. He leaves us with a final message that we must save the world, and Barry Allen dies a hero. This version of him anyways. So, which one do you think was the worst? What are some other tragic Flash moments that didn't make the list? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And now, let's take a look at some comments from another video, Top 10 Most Powerful Suicide Squad Members. Sunstar says, A Part 2 Suicide Squad list could include some of the aquatic villains like Killer Croc, Black Manta, and Killer Shark. Yeah, I totally agree. It was not easy narrowing those Suicide Squad guys down to 10 people. Killer Croc is definitely a fun choice. Milio says, Don't forget when Poison Ivy ended up taking over every person on the Earth. Yeah, man, uh, that was like one of the main reasons I had to include her on that list. Uh, I feel like Poison Ivy doesn't always exactly take advantage of the plant pheromones thing. She could probably be a lot more powerful. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm Patty D, and this is Top 10 Nerd.